I'm going to show you how to set up a tissue uh, with the tissue grinder. It comes in a package like this. It is a sterile enclosed package. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your tissue grinder and your tissue ready under the hood. You may need a scalpel. You may need sterile forceps. You're going to have your gloves and lab coat on working under the hood. When you open this package, you open it up very carefully so the contents don't spill out so they can remain sterile. And what you're going to do is you're going to take out this conical tube. It looks just like this, but it is not labeled, so you need to put a patient label on this. You're going to open this up. It just has a screw cap. And set the screw cap down with the uh, inside sitting up. You are going to put some sterile saline into this conical tube. Then you're going to take a piece of the tissue and place it into this sterile saline. Now if it's a large tissue, you will need to cut it with a scalpel. Put it in here and you're going to take the grinder, which looks like this, and you're going to place it into this conical tube and secure the lid. So now you have an apparatus that looks like this. What you're going to do now is you're going to use the top part here, pulls up, and grind. You're going to grind back and forth, pick it up, grind, pick it up, and grind. And grind until you have a very homogeneous mixture of saline and tissue. When you are done, this cap, the tissue grinding cap, comes off and goes into the biohazard bucket. So you are left with this. Now, you're going to take a sterile pipette, disposable pipette, pipette up some tissue juice mixture and put it onto each plate that you have to inoculate. When you're done with that, you take your cap that has been kept sterile, screw it on tightly. Once again, make sure this is labeled with patient information and you are done setting up your tissue culture.